guys. Today, I actually can't believe I'm saying this. Today is my last day of college. I don't want to cry. <clears throat> I've already cried so many times. It is the 11th of May, 2020. And I can't quite believe it's here. It snuck up on me with everything that's been going on, not being able to be at school, in class, doing everything online. <clears throat> it snuck up on me. And I've been in denial that it's been coming. And I keep thinking, oh, I've got time, I've got time, I've got time. <sighs> well, we're here. So, I thought I would vlog today so that I have this to look back on. I'm probably going to, um, this vlog is probably going to be a bunch of stuff from this week. Um, so today is my last day of undergrad. Um, I think Saturday was the day I was supposed to graduate, like walk in graduation ceremony. So might film some of that day. Um, not that we're walking, but. My family's having a little celebration, but this is gonna be like a goodbye to college kind of vlog. And I'm probably gonna cry many times. Friday, I picked up my sorority stole, brought it home, didn't think anything of it. I was like, great, happy to take pictures, awesome. Was standing in the kitchen with all my family. They were arguing over gummy bears or something, I don't even know. And I was like, oh, I wanna put it on and see what it looks like. I put it on literally within two seconds burst into tears. I'm gonna do it again. I literally put this on, burst into tears, like ugly crying. These have been genuinely been the best four years of my life. I didn't want to cry. I don't want to cry. And I mean that, like, honestly, like, these have been the best four years of my life. I've met the best people ever, made the best friends that I know I'm going to have forever. They're going to be bridesmaids in my wedding one day. And that's so cliche to say about a sorority, but, like, truly. I've been challenged, I've had to overcome a lot of things, I've grown as a person, I've learned to be a leader and gained leadership skills. I was someone who never wanted to go to college back in Australia. I wasn't interested, I hated school, I didn't want to do more of it. When we moved here, I didn't really have a choice. Um, it was kind of college or literally do nothing because I couldn't work. I wasn't allowed to work here. So college was kind of the only option. Um, and I only applied to two places, Montclair being one. I got into both. I chose Montclair. It just felt right. It was a beautiful campus. Um, it just felt like it was where I was supposed to be. Um, and I'm so glad I made that decision. Like, don't get me wrong, there's obviously been hard times, it's college, but there's also been so many good memories, so many fun times, and I'm genuinely gonna miss it. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do now that it's over. And it was an American college experience that I never thought I was ever gonna get to experience, which is awesome, and I'm forever thankful for it. I'm sorry, I don't wanna cry. Anyways, today, since it's my last day, I have two finals. Um, of course, they're not easy finals. They're the hardest finals out of all of my finals. So we love that. We love ending on a rough note. <laughs> 
Um, I also have a lecture to listen to that's over an hour long and then uh, an assignment that I have to do off of it. So it is currently 12, 11. I'm already running late. I'm already running behind schedule. It's 12 o'clock. I need to get onto this lecture because my exam starts, one, my first exam starts at one. So I've got less than an hour. Okay, exam one, done. Hard, freaking hard. Um, I now have to finish watching this lecture and doing the assignment for that. And then I'm gonna get on to my last exam, which people are already taking it and I've heard it's really hard as well. Um, and when a professor gives you six hours to take an exam, you know you're in for a treat. So yeah, mum made me lunch. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I actually just made myself a coffee. Ice latte. I would just like to document that this is what I deal with every single time I'm doing homework or taking an exam. So. You helping me? He's so cute though, I can't move him. <laughs> Guys, this, my final ever college exam has taken me three, oh, sorry, three and a half hours my brain <laughs> actually hurts so bad oh i'm over it i want it done i think i'm done it's currently seven o'clock i started this at like 3 30 3 40. i started this exam it is now 701 i thought i would submit it with you guys this is the moment but this is my last exam college exam ever so Come submit it with me. Here we go. Okay, guys, I am about to submit my final undergrad homework ever. And I don't know how I'm feeling right now. The last exam kind of ruined <laughs> my mood to be completely honest it took so long and so much work mentally as soon as i hit submit on this i'm officially done forever here we go i don't know how to feel i'm so proud i just earned a degree i'm so proud i did it it's done it's over with i'm officially done it doesn't feel real But to all you seniors out there, whoa, sorry. <laughs> to all you seniors out there, you did it. You're done. Be proud of yourself. This was a huge achievement. You got it done. You finished it. You stuck through. You persevered, especially through this incredibly hard, scary, challenging, and unknown time. You did it. You got through it. You just earned yourself a degree. You should be very proud and regardless of whether you get to walk in a ceremony at all or anytime soon celebrate this this is a big moment you did it you just spent the last three or four maybe five years of your life working towards this moment and it's here and you did it congratulations you should all be extremely proud of yourselves my grad dress arrived today funny story i ordered so my one my original one that i ordered like three weeks ago got lost i completely lost my own nobody could find it so we gave up on that one and ordered two backups 
I ordered like a backup and then a backup to the backup. Um, and I ordered them Sunday, I think. No, I ordered them Monday, Monday morning. And one of them has just arrived along with the one that was lost. <laughs> Um, but I think I'm actually end up gonna end up going with the one, the new one. Um, but it just arrived. I've got it on. I've now just put my stole and my cords on. Guys, let me give you a sneak peek because I'm a, I'm thinking I'm gonna go take some pics today. Let me show you. Okay, you're gonna have to ignore the mess behind me. But guys, look. <laughs> It's one behind here. Stoles. I'm I'm cords. I'm actually technically waiting on another pair, but I don't think I'm gonna get them anytime soon. This is like hitting me now. Uh this dress is from the mint julep. Let me check. What does this say? The mint julep boutique. It's got like these little balls on them and like the detailing here and the tie here and then obviously it comes out in this peplum like ruffle which is so cute and it's little strappy which is so cute all right guys i just added the topper to my grad cap i'm so happy with that i never could have done anything this artistic like i wanted peonies on it pink peonies are my favorite flower i got this and how cute is it Saturday. Today is my graduation day. So my family made me a nice big breakfast, surprised me with this, surprised me with some decorations around the house. Um, they gave me some grad gifts, this beautiful necklace. How pretty. So I'm in my grad dress again because we're going to take some family pics today because we haven't got to do that yet. So we're gonna do that, so we're all dressed up. I'm gonna go take some pics. Um, let me show you what I got. So I got this gorgeous, tiny little grad bear. I got this awesome book by Lin-Manuel Miranda, the guy who's from Hamilton. Little like pep talks and stuff, which is like stuff I, li I like this, I love. So I'm excited about that. And then my big gift is this. I've wanted these for years, a pair of these for years. I picked these out like three months ago, I think, and they've been in the house and it's been taunting me because I haven't been allowed to have them until now. Um, but I wanted a pair of golden goose sneakers and so I got them. And I wanted a crazy pair for my first pair. They're Italian handmade shoes. So all of this is handmade, it's all hand stitched. Some have writing on them. They're pretty expensive, unfortunately. Um, hence, I've never actually bought myself a pair. So this is why they were my grad gift. So now I'm gonna go put my cap and gown back on. We're gonna go take some pics. And then I think for the rest of the day, we're gonna sit out on my front lawn. And I'm gonna sit in my cap and gown and we're just gonna chill and like have a little picnic and stuff. And I think some of my friends might stop by and just like chill like six feet apart and stuff. Um, so yeah. Today's the day, guys. It's here. I just posted on Instagram, so if you haven't seen it, go check out that grad post.
Hi guys, I was just editing this vlog right now and realized that I didn't actually end it. Um, so that was my week of finishing undergrad and graduating. Um, still doesn't feel real because obviously we haven't actually walked, but I had the best day yesterday with my family and seeing my friends. Um, it was just so nice and I love them all so much for making it special for me. Um, so yeah, congratulations to all you seniors. You did it. I hope you celebrated in style. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching this vlog or this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also hit those post notifications so you get an update when I post. Thank you so much for watching guys. I love you so much and I'll see you next time.